John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people. Lest I consume thee in the way. Exodus 33 3 Commentary Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Abounding with all the necessaries and good things of life, a description of the land of Canaan frequently made, see Exodus 3 8. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, would not grant them his presence in so near, visible, and respectable a manner as he had before done, though he would not utterly forsake them. The tabernacle was before in the midst of the camp, that is, that which was erected until the large one, ordered to be made, was finished, but now it was removed without the camp, Exodus 33 7. For thou art a stiff-necked people, see Gil on Exodus 32 9. Lest I consume them in the way, in the way to the land of Canaan, and so never get there, the meaning is, that the Lord being in the midst of them, their sin would be the more aggravated to be committed in his presence, before his face, and the glory of his majesty would require that immediate notice be taken of it, and just punishment inflicted, so that by this step God both consulted his own honor and their safety.